What is going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. Holy crap, it's been a long time since I've done this. So it is December 27th. Uh, I've got packages. I haven't been here in a good week or so. Oh, I haven't been here in almost two weeks. Um, it is the week of Christmas, so everybody has off with pay. So I figured I'd come in here. I took my last two weeks off, about a week and a half, uh, and still came in for a couple of things here and there. But um, So I'm working this week. Um, the idea is we still have eBay orders to ship out and stuff to do, so we can't just be completely unstaffed uh, the week of Christmas. So I'm the one who gets to work. Anyways, we've got some eBay orders that I'm going to pull for you. Um, the goal is to be more regular on videos in 2022. Things have calmed down a little bit with uh, the house and whatnot. Not a lot of eBay orders, but we really haven't been listing much lately. We've been so busy with the sale and everything, and... It's been a nightmare. So we've got 18 orders for 681 bucks. Let's go through them and pull them. All right, first we want C5. Got to remember where all this stuff is. C5-1-7. If you're new here, that's how it's sorted. This whole bank is C, that's B, and so on and so forth. The shelves are one, two, three, four, five. The boxes are one, two, three, four, or however many we go on there. And then we're looking for number seven. C517. So this is probably something that I'm just going to show you on a computer screen. It's a Halloween maternity shirt. Never mind, it's not Halloween. I thought that was a pumpkin in the thumbnail. Uh, this came out of motherhood maternity when they closed. Sold for $19.99. It'll probably cost me 4 bucks at most to ship. It's going to go first class. It's really light. Um, sold for $19.99. My cost was probably... 20 or 30 cents when motherhood maternity oh no no that wasn't a percentage i but i paid a dollar per item when motherhood maternity closed so a dollar came out of a store probably in chicago in the same general area we're looking for c2-3 c2-3 and oh this might be it right on top i'm gonna double check but it was a chainsaw blade i'm gonna double check to make sure we don't have more in that box but um that sold for See, eleven ninety nine for nine ninety nine. Back in the C's, C three three fifty six. That's gonna be fifty seven. There we go. This is a valve stem for a Kohler faucet. We got an absolute ton of these on the Home Depot load, and we put off, or a Home Depot load, and we put off shipping these for the longest time or listing them because they sell for 10 bucks. You know, after I ship this, I'm gonna walk away with about four or five bucks. Some of them go for more, and sometimes people will buy three or four of them at once, uh, which really increases what we get for it after shipping and fees. But um, yeah, so there's this. A3-2 is something that you actually saw in a recent video, and uh, it's not something I can say about much. A Galaxy 4 Classic watch. This sold for 205 bucks. This came on the Target pallets when I bought two Target pallets with those rugs right before the last sale. Now we'll take a walk back here. My new desk is getting ready to be put into my office. Here, I'll quick show you that while I'm back here. It is a mess in here. Where's the light switch? There. But I put in cabinets and I'm going to have a nice fancy desk. I'm going to have an actual office looking office. Of course, in the meantime, it's an absolute trash pit because I had to pull everything out. Now let's see if I can remember what shelf I need to be on. I want to say it was one F2. And it's going to be this one. Yep. A three pack of these vitamin B12. And I want to say they sold for $22.99. I will double check that and let you know. They sold for 22 even. They expired January of 23 or later. I think one of these is March of 23. Uh, these came on the Walgreens pallets. This is the type of stuff we love for eBay when we get Walgreens because, well, it does really well on eBay. Now, this is 22 bucks for three bottles, but sometimes we'll sell one bottle of something for 40 and they don't do so well on the sale, so it's kind of nice. Back on the C shelf for some reason, C2-3. Uh, back up here, I think this is what we need. Oh, push this back in. It is a timer light switch, something you use for like a bathroom fan or something. Uh, what did this sell for? This came on a Home Depot load, sold for $13.99. Now on K5, 
Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing it. There's it under here, maybe? Hydro roller, yes, this. He's even got it all boxed up for me. So this is a shower head. Right here, a fancy shower head. It's actually got rollers. If I can pull this thing out. It's actually got rollers on there for a massage. So we get these and they come in a big box, but we found if we take them out of the box, we can ship them much cheaper um, because then they can go cubic. They're, they'll fit in a smaller box. So that's what we do. We take it out of the box. Uh, we leave some details and whatnot, the manual and everything's in there and ship it like this. Uh, it is new, but it ships cheaper out of the box. We end up making more. We sold it for $29 or $29.99? $29 even. I think I took an offer on that one. Now, Z5-2, where is that shelf? Uh, no, it's right over here. I remember now. So, 5-2. Uh, let's see. We sold a three-pack of these men's multivitamins. There's the third one buried in here. So, these are dated 12 of 22. 12 of 22 and 12 of 22 sold them for 27 bucks which if you're looking for vitamins go on ebay because that is a heck of a deal i don't go with this brand but the ones i have are similar men's multivitamin gummies and that's what i'll spend on like one bottle so someone got a good deal and i mean granted these bottles are pretty destroyed but they're still sealed look at that one it's like a turtle hiding now, here is an interesting one. It's going to be on these Toys R Us shelves somewhere. Um, hmm. I guess it's not sitting out in the open and easy to find. If you're new here, I don't do the listing. I usually don't do the shipping. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm filling in today. But I don't know where anything is because I didn't list it. Uh, let's see, down there somewhere. No. Huh. What's in this box under the hat? Nope, that's a VCR. Security cameras and barcode scanners. What's in here? No, that's Kentucky slate cutting boards. Uh, mini valve cover. That's definitely not it. Should be in with the clothes. No. Where, oh, where are you hiding? Oh, oh, that's all kind of attached. In here. All right. So this is a bunch of vintage toilet paper and paper towel. One of these pink ones sold. And to me, they look identical. But it says we only sold one, right? One, zero available. Anyways, so I guess we'll go with this. I'll do a little more research to figure out which one it is. But sold for 15 bucks. This is probably late 70s or early 80s. We have a ton of this stuff, food products mostly. And a lot of it's selling to movie studios. So it must have just been a quantity error. So I just relisted the other one. They seem to be identical. Um, and I looked up the address. This one is not going to a movie studio. It's going to a trailer park. So my guess is a gag gift or something for someone, or maybe someone's just feeling nostalgic. I mean, 15 bucks isn't super crazy for four rolls of toilet paper, but it's still pretty high, but it's pink. Next, we've got right here. This is, we had a ton of these. They came on a Target load a while ago. These gun, it's some sort of gun accessory, a super swivel. Uh, we sold the last three of them for 28.80. Uh, these are going to ship super cheap, first class. We had like a hundred of these originally. Now an H3, I think this is going to be what we're looking for. A credit card terminal. This came out of a store, local store that closed. I don't remember what I paid for it. Maybe five or probably five bucks. It couldn't have been much. Uh, sold it for $39.99. I-5-1. This is a unique item that you can really only sell on eBay. Uh, it is not that. Or this. 
Oh, and that box, that just opened up. Uh, I'm assuming this is it. Yeah, some sort of fuel injector thing for a Volkswagen. There are four of them in here. Sold for $32.99. Let's take a walk back in here. One G3, some zinc lozenges. That's gonna be right here. It is a two pack. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of them and they're in date for a while. I think it was 2025. There you go, five of 25, five of 25. I think it was listed four of 25 or better. And I forgot what these sold for. So it was 19.99. And if you're wondering where all of these details are as far as location, it's in the custom label section. That's where we put it. Uh, we also put the month and year it was listed. That way, you know, eBay has it too, but sometimes they'll change it like when something gets relisted. I think they've fixed that. But it's nice to have this so I can just look here and see if it was a recent item or an older one, especially when I'm taking an offer. If someone sends me an offer on something, I can look and say, oh, this has been listed for a year. I'll take a lowball offer. Or, oh no, this was listed two weeks ago. I'm not taking that offer. Z31. Uh, I think this is it. A water filter. Uh, I don't know how many are supposed to be in here. Came from Home Depot, I can tell by the stickers. Um, so for $29.99, we listed it in August. We're looking for H3, right where that um, credit card reader was. Uh, he has this listed as damage with a question mark. I don't know where this came from. It's got price tags on it. I have no clue where this came from, um, but it's listed as, let's see. Uh, it doesn't say on my page if it's listed as new or used. I'm thinking probably used. Um, let's see. And he just listed it. Uh, 12 of 21. Sold for $49.99. In Z5-2, another item that came on those Target pallets is going to be not that. Uh, let's see. Not that. It's an Apple product of some sort. Uh, here we go. Headphones with a lightning connector. Sold for $14.99. Um, I learned something. I was at the store getting a new charger. Do you know the little block that uh, plugs into the wall that has the USB port? That's 20 bucks. Now, every single person I know has like eight of them sitting in their drawer, but I can't believe that's 20 bucks. It's Apple products for you, although I do love Apple products. If you're wondering, I have no idea why these Michael Jordan cards are here. A3-2, a faucet timer here. Uh, likely came from Home Depot. This one looks unopened. This is not all open returns. So for $24.99. And lastly, on Z5-2, right here, we've got... Uh, oh, I see it. A Ryobi battery, also unopened, sold for 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 bucks. I thought about keeping that for myself because I have Ryobi tools, but I have so many batteries. I'd rather have 40 bucks. So that is today's $618 in sales. I'm gonna get this stuff shipped out. And if some more sales come through while I'm shipping, I will update you. And there we go, all ready for the post office to pick up. I spent a little under 110 bucks on shipping. It's probably about 75, give or take, on eBay fees, which leaves me with a little over 400 uh, net, I guess, not including cost of goods or anything like that. Not bad, considering we haven't been really listing much. Not great, but once we start listing, we'll get back to those $2,000 weekends again. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I will have the, wow, it smells like poop in here. It's been a problem lately. There's plumbing issues that they can't seem to figure out. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I lost my train of thought. Hopefully, I will be able to be consistent on the videos come 2022, even though that's not 2022 yet. But anyways, I'm going to go home now, and I'm actually going to edit this video right now. So hopefully, you'll see it today or maybe tomorrow, depending on upload times. I said that in actually my last video. It's August something, and hopefully, you'll see this today. And it was like December when it finally got uploaded. So don't hold your breath. But if you're watching this in 2021, that means I uploaded it in a timely manner. But until then, see you next year.